Hello, my name is Miss Moon and I'm playing my first amazing history explorer. Uh, I already have a version without the commentary on Uplime, but since I'm currently uploading a number of those videos now and they're taking forever, I thought I might as well do a commentary over the ones I've already recorded as well. Because why not? Um, this is one of my favourite games when I was really little, like about six. Um, and I think it was one of the first ones that I had as well. Because my parents liked to... My parents thought that I should have more educational games rather than games that you actually, you know, played for fun. There's my phone! Oh, this guy. Do you want to be a heroic history explorer? Let me lead you on an adventure through the past. Yeah, he's a little freaky, but you kind Have of you you just get used before? to it. That's you a lie. I already have a save file on back here. In time. I'm gonna. Yeah, I skipped this bit because those noises annoy me, and I thought that no one would really want to see me skipping through every single option. But you get a lot of options. Here is the latest update on the mysterious disappearance oh, you can tell yourself of the green and blue and things. The case of the missing so yeah, this is the story, basically, that freaky-looking eye guy has kidnapped this professor guy, and since you are the only person capable of breaking into the attic, apparently, you must go and save him? Greetings, friends, Romans, countrymen. Hey, so you found the professor's attic. Yeah, the game keep the freezes like that. Like my legionary look? I think it might be partly because time this fugitive. game is not intended for laptops like what I have, and also because my laptop's I did it because fairly short on memory, history got so... The attention that it deserves. How else could I get you to check One of the out reasons the why I'm playing simple games like this is because so, I can't play anything more complicated without First, my you'll have computer to sniff out the chugging. Missing pieces of the time trail. These could be anywhere in history. Complete the time trail and... Hey, presto! You can find the professor. That's all there is to it. See you around. I'm history. Can you help the professor? Click on the notice board to find out yeah. more about your mission. So they're going to keep going Or click on the movie projector for a guided this. tour of the attic. Um, I think I'm going to take a guided tour just to show what's in the You have discovered the Professor attic. Feinstein's secret attic room where there is lots to explore. To yeah. move around the room, We're just gonna click on the We're going to go through the, the attic room on a later video, I think. Because the although there's a lot of mini-games in this attic, game. I kind of wanted to get right into the if you need to find a story. So, find his I'm probably going to do all, all of the historical eras, and then I'll do a video that's just the attic. I maybe should have made this video just the attic, room, but I thought that the historical souvenirs maybe it would be better to do the main thing first. Certainly journal. that's the way I did it when I used to play this when I was little. If you want to quit, kick the quit sign on the attic door. So yeah, I wanted to do to this game because it's one that I used to play a lot as a little kid and me and my sisters all used to play it. Um, or recreate scenes from the past using the history maker. This game's kind of one of those things that used to come Your free with the family computers, along with various things like you know, um, and last but my least, use my the science time explorer, to travel my... back to past worlds. Thank you. Wherever you see a movie my... projector, you can click on it. My if you encyclopedia, need more help. all that sort of a thing. Because um, Dolan Kindersley, I think, were trying to has been trapped in the past like they by the got that computers could be used to teach to kids things, him, but because there wasn't the internet yet, they tried to put basically Wikipedia or a Watch children's encyclopedia on a disc. Um, but because obviously no kid would look through that, they tried to trail, make it a game, which is, in your mission folder. Which is I guess, reasonable. Pieces, and I think this was something that I did get a lot of tangential world. learning from. I mean, then I certainly know... By clicking on things that pardon interest me, you. pardon my language, I'll bleep that. Uh, I certainly know stuff about things like 
Imperial China and the, the Incas on an through this screen, rather than my school because my school didn't it. cover those subjects. When you have found all eight pieces, one from each of the eight worlds, yeah. the time so trail basically will the game the is location, you go you to the different locations, explorer. there are different clickable things on there, they will open a little information panel Collect the missing pieces to find the that professor. will open up the time trail. The informational pieces, one of them will have a piece of time trail clipped to it. There are... You know what, it's easier if I just let myself get in there. So we've got the time machine to and... travel back in time, yeah. first scroll along the timeline by clicking the arrows. You do the when arrows, you have selected the destination then you, you want, press the, click on the round forward button. button to do this. And if you are me, you pick your thing, you press the forward button, and then you spin round and round and round on the computer chair while it's, it's doing this, because when I was a kid and played this on the computer, you may as well spin around the computer chair during this bit because it took forever to load. Uh, this isn't so much of a problem now. You've arrived but, in yeah. ancient Egypt, 1200 BC. Hello. You could probably tell where you were by the pyramids. Hey, you're no mummy. <laughs> I'm off to sail down the River Nile. Yeah. Come along. He has a different. He says a different thing each time you load it up. I don't know how many different things he has to say. Um, I can make another video just full of all the different things that he has to say, and he's got a different outfit for each thing as well for each time period. Egyptian soldiers. So the yeah, Egyptian you click on the, the country from things. Invaders. It brings up an information some soldiers rode in fast thing like this. Chariots. But and some of them will have foot. pieces of time trail clipped Egyptian to them. Egyptian soldiers were armed with them, curved swords, you can collect axes, stickers, spears, or and bows. photographs, or do an activity Their were made from to it. And wood. But this is what, when I was playing with this when I was a little kid, I probably would have skipped right through this one because it didn't have anything on it. Um, yeah. Egyptian house. This all Egyptian houses you can built just skip through all this wording. They I think I decided for this playroom to, to actually sit through all of the words roofs, and that was a tough thing to do because the years of playing this game have kind of taught me to is there nothing this on this to avoid fires screen that could then I'm skipping through it. And also kept and smells away. You can click on the little trumpet thing and that will shut shut the people up who are talking about it. Anyone who kind of grew up at around the same time like Sphinx. I did, like the Egyptians early nineties, like late nineties, to guard their late nineties, early two thousands, will probably be familiar with Dolling and the head of a pharaoh. They kind the of look similar to the this. They were their quite big and, and they had, you know, evil. similar titles, stuff like you know, the amazing statues human body, of all of that, to scare children, to protect um, sacred places. They were all over libraries and things when I was a when I was a kid and I think I went into uh my old primary school a while back and I still saw a load. So I don't think they've gotten replaced. Lower Egypt. The northern part of Egypt certainly with the Nile in divided my into several channels and empty. University into the Library where we keep the um, Lower Egypt teaching tools for the people on the um teaching course. They've still got these Dawn and Kindersley books there. She uses teaching resources. Because I think Pyramids. most of what is on this the is The pyramid accurate. is a huge tomb built for a pharaoh. I'm not sure. It doesn't go the into much detail on anything. I think it's generally supposed to be the sort of robbers, thing where... And help his spirit reach heaven. Each of these amazing you tombs click on the thing that interests you, it gives you a brief overview, build. and then if you really wanted to find out about it, then it Pyramids wanted you to go and actually buy a for the pharaohs. or... Tombs for the pharaohs. ...go to the library or go to school. I think there was a Dolan Kendersley online thing that was connected to this CD for a while, actually, that connected mm. to a very early sort of Wikipedia style Learning thing. To write. These Dolan Kendersley people, people really wanted Egypt to be sort of like write. just trained writers were called scribes. an encyclopedia it took many years for the for computer them to age, the really. Hieroglyphic writing. These things were really scribes designed to sort of help you and events with the school for people who didn't want to go to the library and borrow books to learn <laughs> but obviously of because the of the internet and that they in kind of lost Egypt, out to the wikipedia the people were and now with treasures and magic i don't to help think the next they world. do any more of these cds i know there wasn't online was thing for a while crime. but i think Robbers it shut down their way in because basically the everyone treasures. just used to go on the um go online to various online sites and didn't really use them.
Hieroglyphs. The Egyptians developed a type of picture writing ah. called hieroglyphics. Now here we get an activity Each to do. Each was a tiny uh, you'll have seen that represented the stickers a word before. or sound. They're basically just a case of... For example, of the symbol for the word owl was you an owl. You click on it, it answer, asks you a question. If you answer the question right, you get a sticker. Code. For the this, wrote in picture different, signs called hieroglyphs. different Although these are not the same as letters things. in an alphabet, here you can have so fun this is creating just your name and some hieroglyphic name. symbols. Drag the hieroglyphs thing. into the I'm box not, to create I really your name. don't think this is that accurate, to be honest, for an actual translation of your name, but I'll just make Mist Moon, because why not? Which is not my name, but... Does anyone on the internet use their actual name these days? I don't think so. Um, but yeah... This disc can have multiple save files on it. Um, one of the things with a journal is that it's completely possible to just go go to each period, look for the time trail, and then just go to the Mummy. next period and just keep going until you finish the, the time trail. You do not have to complete your journal. Still needed its so body we've got to another on in the next sticker world. here. To preserve the dead body, um, it was made into a mummy. Mummies were so, put into yeah, special just... coffins and buried in tombs. Uh, come on. The ancient Egyptians yep. made mummies and to preserve their bodies they made mummies to, to scare off tomb, tomb robbers. robbers. Yeah, so you answer it, it gives you a thing. If you answer it wrong, it doesn't really punish you for it. It just makes a noise and expects you to click the other thing. And to be honest, they pretty clearly spell out the answer in the written part anyway. So yeah, mostly what I think most people would do. So I think what like food, Egyptians ate meat, fish, the journals bread, just like a sort of side quest fruit, thing to complete cakes, because the time trail and honey. can be completed Egyptian multiple times. Um, once you've completed it, so it once gritty, you get a little certificate and it'll have a little trophy on the most bottom corner of it. Beer made from barley. And then each time Children you complete the time trail, you get another trophy on your certificate. So I think I've had a trophy with like a full line of I think I've had a certificate with a full line of about 20 trophies on it just because I kept completing the time trail over and over so the journal Making was more mummy. I think supposed to be Turning completed a over the into a mummy course is called of several playthroughs to embalm a if body, that makes sense the Egyptians but took I'm out the liver, completing lungs, my entire journal on one and playthrough brain. and basically showing then they every dried out the body one of the salt. information Finally, panels they I can find the body because and wrapped why not in strips of linen. I have to say, I think a lot of what I knew, know about history comes from this game and um, horrible history. The books. River Nile. Everyone in ancient Egypt lived near the River Nile. In this dry yeah, desert the... country, people thought of the river as a magical, life-giving force. History is a, a year, funny the topic. River flooded, it's one of those things of like water I find things about history interesting, but I wouldn't really. Most people in ancient Egypt look into it that much. The River Nile. The pyramids. I certainly am not interested in studying history any further than I had to. Although I do like like ancient history and stuff, but yeah, I think it was partly because I found out that if you wanted to study history, you had to study things like World War Two. The Pharaoh. Him. The Pharaoh was there we the go. king. Time the trail. most powerful person in Egypt. That he flashy thing that I can guess country. is probably irritating people is the, the time people trail. Believed he was a god on Earth. We're going to let they the lady bring the finish what she's got to say Egypt. and then we're going to click it. No that goes. started the ball rolling. One down, seven ago. Yep. Doesn't, if I'm honest, if you're just going to play it for the time trail, this game does not take long at all. Um, but then again, it really is like a lucky look of the draw thing because sometimes, the like the first the thing you'll click on in, in a level will be the time trail, and just like oh, well, can't bother. Other times, banquets. I swear, like Cathero sat on his that royal Nile throne thing that I brought up earlier took me forever to find because one time I just couldn't find the time guests. trail anywhere because I didn't realise that the Nile was clickable. I didn't realise that every time it says the Nile on that river, it's actually a clickable thing. Although it all brings up the same. Watering the crops. To keep their crops healthy in the hot sun, the Egyptians relied on water from the Nile. Farmers used a device called a shadoof to take water from the river. 
they dug ditches from the river to the fields so the water could flow to the plants. Like I said, I'm pretty certain everything they say on this game is ac I'm pretty certain most of what they say on this game is still accurate, but it is quite an old game. Farming. It's, um, it was hard work ploughing and harvesting in the hot sun. Farmers worked in their fields almost all year well, round. Well, it says copyright 1998 they grew wheat on to the make back, bread so and barley to make beer. They also grew many old. vegetables, um, such as peas, beans, onions, lettuces but and cucumbers. then again, like... When I was little, I still had um, learning encyclopedias from my grandparents that Upper were like, made Egypt. in the 60s. So the southern part of Egypt was called Upper Egypt. Yeah, there were Nothing many important in this towns is really and temples looked into in, Upper in Egypt. too much detail anyway. It's just sort of like a sort of introductory thing, so kids are aware of what they should really know. Egyptian fashion. Egyptians loved fashion and always made sure they were I mean, sure if you were looking for some kind of game Both to give your kids, I guess this would wigs, be eye makeup, a decent way for them to waste their time. Men wore a kilt or loin At least they're likely to learn something, even if it is sort of dresses. tangential. In ancient Egypt, who wore makeup and jewellery? Women only. Both men and women. Yeah, things that I learned through. I have to admit that the makeup thing. I knew mainly through um, DreamWorks Magic films, charm. The Egyptians um, believed in magic. Most people wore lucky charms to protect them from danger. They asked doctors and priests for magic spells for really all not sorts much of to say things. About this game. From curing there, diseases to becoming One of the reasons successful. why I decided to do it quietly is because I'd seen Egypt, there were a couple of, more, couple of playthroughs of this game. Pretty, ornaments, pretty much doing the same thing I'm danger. doing, but because there was someone talking over them, people were going, oh no, I want a quiet playthrough because I want to know what the people are saying. And I was kind of Egyptian like, I could do a playthrough where I just shut up time, during these Egyptian bits boys and, girls and I'm quiet during all the rest of it. Games. Or I could they do a playthrough where I just played do a quiet board games one. and had piggyback so I decided to just do a quiet one, partly because when they were not um, playing, I'm currently boys living their in father's job. Girls not usually the quietest their of places, so it meant that I would be able to play. I meant that I would be able to record whenever. So these commentaries are just sort of like a little side thing that I'm doing. <sighs> Egyptian I'm women. Sorry, are we boring you, Egyptian love? women had more freedom than women yeah. in other ancient civilizations. The little animations they could own are always and run farms and businesses. They're a nice little a Easter egg, but they're not really. And two of ancient Egypt's I know some most of them. I don't women. know if there are that many on this board, but on some of the other, like, I really don't know what to call the different. Do I call them levels? Do I call them boards? Do I call them periods? I don't know. Some of them have um, animations that I would click to watch Egyptian over and over again temple. because they were funny, Deep but I don't know an Egyptian what ones they have on this one that I had that were like that when I was little. To a god or goddess. Only priests and priestesses were allowed to see this shrine. They had to shave their heads and wash to purify themselves before entering the temple. Very good. Stay clean for your, for your gods. Who was allowed nice. into an Egyptian temple? Priests and priestesses. Anyone. I do love the little photographs you get of yourself just because... You can try all you like, you will not be able to make an avatar that does not look gods doofy. Gods and goddesses. I decided to make one look happy rather than sulky, but in ancient yeah. Egypt. Each god looked after one part of life, such as death or the harvest. You can just, like, randomise it and just leave Many it as is, which I was half tempted to do, but knowing animal. that if I did that, I would end up with, like, the some most kind of important blue god skin was and Ray, three the eyes, sun god. so... I'm vain enough to not want that to be my avatar. Nubia. This kingdom to the south of Egypt I forget Nubia was, was part, part of the Egyptian of Empire for many years. E Egypt. Nubia, Nubia supplied was, Egypt think, with gold, ivory, and animal skins. I only know about Nubia because I used to read a load of historical fiction set in, like, the Roman time, Roman Trading Empire. Trading for goods. The and I think a fair few slaves used money. to come from Nubia. But Most then they used to call, I think Nubia needed, might be an old name for everything clothes. south of Egypt for in example, Africa. For example, a <laughs> might swap some of his crops I'm for a new sure. kilt. Because ancient racism, why not? Favourite pets. Most people in ancient Egypt kept pets such as cats and dogs. 
The Egyptians believe that cats yeah, were sacred animals. Yeah, one thing I should animals. say about this game, it is very Europe-centric, Often when um, a cat died, Europe its centric, owner would have it made into a mummy and buried um, in a special cemetery. I guess that's understandable, Egypt, because this was made by a British sacred. company. It's Dull and Kindersley UK, after all. Um, although I think there's an American version out there with a different voice acting on it. Because um, I know that I saw one playthrough and the voice acting was different, and that threw me. Nile um, boat. Sailing down the river Nile was much easier so than yeah, travelling across the desert. All of the because there's of this, more European the did not levels need than there are other levels. People made because, journeys like I say, by I think river this was on kind wooden or reed boats. They a also thing to use as a supplement for kids hunting. that were just starting to learn history in school. Ancient Egyptian like boats early, were made of iron or steel, primary wood school. or reeds. Or, I don't know, is that elementary school, maybe? Like, five and up. Um, ages five and up. Harvesting papyrus. Reeds called papyrus So yeah, I think they just the kind of, the they base this around what Oh, the kids most likely to for all sorts of most things. likely to study. They made sandals, and boats, and rope Egypt. from reeds. I think we see Roman Empire that they could use the Vikings, reeds to make but there isn't really paper. a Viking board, which always we saddened call this me. Paper papyrus. But I guess that one would be a bit hard to do. Animals of the Nile. Many yeah. kinds of animals lived in and around the River Nile. Fish, hippos, and crocodiles swam in the river. So I think many I'm getting wild to the end of the recording banks. now, or I the might Egyptians be getting up to the part where I hippos, but this screwed was a very up dangerous bit, I sport. Because <laughs> I know there was a Which bit in this where I was recording, the Egyptians hunt and then alligators, I screwed hippos. up with the journal. Temp Daily life. But yeah, this is. I've got everything done. So, next time, Ancient Greece. I'm screwing with these titles.